Karen D'Souza, who is an active member of the non-governmental organization Red Tread, has been volunteering her service for many years. She has been described as a fighter for the rights of women and children and makes significant contribution towards raising awareness while demanding support from the government towards the support of women and children who suffer abuse. When asked how she feels to be acknowledged in this way, D'Souza noted that while the recognition is good, she still has lots to do in her strides towards the betterment of women. It's a useful recognition um, in the sense that notwithstanding all the discussion about violence and all the reports that are being made about violence and the really horrendous incidents of violence against women and children, we still don't have um, enough of the concerted attention that's necessary. So I guess it's, it's, it, it works, the nomination works as another way to, to um, add another dimension. This was noted that a lot of efforts are being put in place to have men more involved in the fight against domestic and other forms of violence. However, not many males have been coming out to do their part and are appealed to other men to put a stop to violence. I have not encountered many of those. I mean, we've, we've worked with a few men, very few men who were abusive. And, and, and some of those men just did not know a different way to be in a relationship. Um, but they have, not, they have not been prepared to, to come forward to work with other men. D'Souza noted that while the government has set up and continues to provide more shelters for battered women, she hopes to see the housing provided extends for much longer. As she explains that a period of six months is not enough for the women to secure jobs and find housing.